Today is D-Day for Cavan footballers with four of their team making championship debuts. Goalkeeper Paul O'Dowd, Fergal Harton at fullback, wingback Jerry Sheridan and wing forward Peter Riley get their big opportunity. Throw in former Cork underage player Morris Murphy at midfield and this is a very unfamiliar Cavan team. Down the middle there's still plenty to offer. Stephen King, Ronan Carolan and Damien O'Reilly add a bit of steel and an abundance of championship know-how. Inexperience could probably best describe this Monaghan team. Seven under-21s, including four senior championship debutants, dominate the selection. Goalkeeper Glenn Murphy, midfielder Porig McShane, Declan Smith, Vincent Martin in the attack all get their first taste of senior championship football. However, there are still a few old heads around like Brendan Murray and Declan Lukeman in defence. Well-known referee Damian Campbell is the man in charge. Seventy minutes of championship Ulster style ahead of us in Breffney Park here in Cavan. A crossfield breeze dominating the climate here. And already we have a start for Monaghan after just 15 seconds. That crossfield breeze aiding and abetting that ball to go straight over the bar. A nice point by Frank, Frank McEnany. Right down the middle. This is Finton. They call him the flying Finn in the County Cavan. And I think you're going to see why. And I think Finton is now checking with the referee that he needs a little bit of attention. Just about to take off there, but he was fouled. Physiotherapy student in Trinity College in Dublin, Ronan Carolan. Oh, made a total mess of it between himself and Adrian Lamb. Monaghan getting it down towards Stephen McGinnity. This is a good footballer. Trying to get it back out to his left corner back, Edwin Murphy. Going on to the 13-meter line, getting it inside. Chance here, a point blank save. And there's all hell breaking loose. But the goalkeeper did well, and there's a boot flying there. And, oh dear, we have things going out of control. And Monaghan's Declan Smith did put the boot in on the goalkeeper, and the Cavan corner back responded. And that was clearly seen. And there is still arguments going on. And referee Damien Campbell is going to have to control matters immediately. He has the guilty party, and he is taking his name, and this is going to be an interesting decision. And I think the referee, Damien Campbell, has a judge that it's going to be just a booking offence. And now his linesman is in, and still Damien Campbell is now looking for somebody else. And he's now calling over Cavan cornerback Kieran Brady. So the man from Ghana is also booked. And referee Damien Campbell will be satisfied just to give him a finger wagging as well. So Kieran Brady, Declan Smith, both booked. Fine fielding by Morris Murphy, getting it down towards Damien O'Reilly. He's an inspirational player when on form. Oh, wonderful point by O'Reilly. Excellent point by the man from Mullerhorn. The sides are level. That's a great response by Cavan. Look at this for confidence. Point taking in supreme style. Stephen King unable just to hold on to it. It's there to be taken, and Stephen has it. Cavan sticking with this traditional style of long ball into the forwards. But they can combine as well. Ronan Carolyn giving it back to Finton Cowell, and Cavan are playing well. And they're also fierce determined. Look at that. 
They ain't messing around in 94. The cabin boys mean business. Ronan Carolyn to Finton Cahill. There's no broken nose this time. The feet are working right on target. Lovely fielding. Horik McShay from Clontibret. Gregory Flanagan. Well one back. Declan Smith losing out to Kieran Brady. And here come Cavett. Jerry Sheridan. That's a great ball. Up towards corner forward, Adrian Lamb. Calling outside. This is corner, other corner forward in the full forward line, John Brady. And Adrian is fouled. Free for Cavett. This is good play by the number 13. Second year on the championship side. And he gets the free. Adrian Lamb to take the free himself. Nice, easy style. It puts Kevin in front by three points. Great kick out by Glenn Murphy. Damien O'Reilly, who's operating as a third midfielder for those kickouts, to Stephen King and Space. This is back to O'Reilly. Roland Carolyn has gone inside. Still O'Reilly. But this time, the referee had blown his whistle, in fact. He's given a free to Cavan. Here's a man who plays his club football with Ku Collins, 27 year old. Scored 10 points last year in the championship match against Monaghan. He's got two this year. And Cavan have five. It's a good, bright start for Cavan. Edwin Murphy sending it down. Ray McCarran going back to gather it. Well blocked down by Fergal Harton. And well won by David King. It's a good ball up. Added to. And Declan Smith pulling Kieran Brady's jersey and he got away with it. And didn't get the advantage in terms of the ball went out over the end line. Great kick out comes down towards Ray McCarran, telling the ball in tell intelligently to Damien, to uh, Vincent Martin. This is a nice chance here. Stephen McGinnity, it's a goal for Monaghan. Brilliant play by Monaghan. And it was Stephen McGinnity that finished it to the back of the cabin net. But a peach of a goal made by Vincent Martin gave it on to Parik McShane. McShane saw McGinnity to the left and McGinnity finished it superbly, giving the goalkeeper no chance. Playing a bit of basketball, Ronan Carolyn knocking it down for Fitton Cahill. Still Cahill, satisfied with a point and he's got it. Two points for Fintin Cal. And Cavan now with a total of seven. It was Ronan Carolyn that sent his colleague in the half forward line through. He had the time to look at the pulse, steady himself, and loft it over. This is Jerry Wee Sheridan from Bailborough. To Peter Riley, another debutant. Lifted a little bit behind him and gave it to his opposite number 10, Gregory Flanagan. Two Cavan players. One of them is the captain, Jerry Sheridan. Well blocked down. Comes to Ronan Carolyn. Down towards John Brady. Gets away from Seamus Mullen this time. Sending a ball in towards Peter Riley. who's blatantly held. And the referee spotted it. Fouled by David King. And a free for Cavan. So going for point number four. For Ronan Carlin, that is. And point number eight for Cavan. Cavan have responded very well, thank you very much, to that goal by Monaghan. Second half is underway, 35 minutes to decide who goes through to the next round of the Ulster Championship. And look at that space given to Damien O'Reilly. 
There's a chance on here. A lovely goal. What a start to the second half. Peter Raleigh on his championship debut, 19 years of age, last year's Cavan Minor captain. No wonder they talk about him. Right from the throw in, Damien O'Reilly, the amount of space given was incredible. And Peter Riley, coolness personified, hit it past Glenn Murphy. This was great positioning, but terrible defending by Monaghan. Ball batted forward. Comes to Gregory Flanagan. Frank McEnany trying to get it inside to his midfield partner, Parik McShane. And uh, that's a fairly hefty challenge once more. Certainly, judging by that challenge by Tommy Smith, I would have thought that that was a booking offence, but it wasn't according to referee Damian Campbell. And Monaghan don't take the opportunity either. Stephen McGinnity driving it very much wide. Ray McCarran knocking it down for Michael Slowey. Stephen McGinnity is outside. And the question of getting it in a little bit further. Back outside to Michael Slowey. Well won. Now, goal cheer. Oh, kept up. No, it isn't. Another goal from Monaghan. Gregory Flanagan was the man who finally got the touch. And it puts Monaghan back into the match. Terrible defending by Cavan because they were there in sufficient numbers. Well won by Teclan Smith. He was well marshalled. The goalkeeper did well to get a boot to it, but somehow, somehow, Fergal Harton actually put it into the net. Watch this again. Blocked by the goalkeeper. Fergal Harton, in his effort to clear it, actually put it into his own net. Last Sunday, we had an OG down in Limerick when Clare played Tipperary. We now have it in Breffney Park as well. Finton Cal with acres of Breffney Park in front of him. Chance on here to jump ready. Saved by Glenn Murphy. Edwin Murphy is there as well. The Murphy twins between them. They're not related, but on this occasion they came to Monaghan's rescue. Out to Jared McGurk. Hasn't seen much of him in this match, and he loses up rather quickly, and it comes to Peter Riley. Cavan on the attack. This is Adrian Lamb, and Adrian Lamb is fouled in a free in for Cavan. Oh, blistering action in Breffney Park. It may have lasted only two minutes, but it was well worthwhile coming to see. This was a brilliant save by Glenn Murphy. John Brady hit it a lash. Murphy went down and Edwin picked it up. Ronan Carolyn with the free. 2-3 to 1-9, remember. Make that 1-10. Michael Slowey unable to hold on to it. It comes to Jared McGurk. A testing ball. Comes down to the corner forward, Smith. An open goal and another goal for Monaghan. Declan Smith from Carrick McCross making another debutant, having a stormer in Breffney Park. This young fella has a checkered career. He was sent off in his very first match against Tyrone from Monaghan in the league. In his first championship debut, he plays that sort of a shot into the cabin net. Well won, Damien O'Reilly. And Jared McGurk getting involved with O'Reilly for no reason. Here come Cabin once more, Tommy Smith. Trying to get a shot in. Oh, that's a lovely score by Tommy Smith. The super sub from dead comes in and gets a most valuable point. This was good play by Tommy Smith. He survived the challenge of Edwin Murphy and sent it straight and through. Great point. PJ Carroll must be a little bit concerned about his defense as Monaghan make changes. Gregory Flanagan is gone off and Ger Hoey is in. And it's Monaghan in possession. Sending a ball up, way up the field. McGinnity trying to come in with the challenge. The elbow was up on Kieran Brady, but Kevin come away with it. 
This is Jared McGurk, who's much more involved in the second half. Again, the ball is pumped forward. Ray McCarran trying to get ahead there of uh, Philip Smith. Here comes uh, Declan Smith. Oh, wonderful point by Declan Smith. Carrick McCross will celebrate the arrival of a really fine corner forward. Look at this. He had to hold on to that ball in full flight. Look at the target. Excellent play. You will be delighted to hear that thankfully there's only 13 minutes gone in this second half and anything can happen now. Whoops! Did I say it correctly? Tommy Smith, Declan Smith brought down and that's a penalty for Monaghan. Declan Smith, he scored a goal and a point so far. Now he's earned a penalty and Monaghan have a real opportunity. Smith was inside and really goalkeeper Paul O'Dowd a little or no option but to bring him down so can history repeat itself Ray McCarran scored a goal from a penalty last year hits it and straight at the goalkeeper Paul O'Dowd well to be honest that was one of the poorest penalty takes I've ever seen and Ray McCarran is rightly disgusted with himself but really going off the pitch just before taking a penalty in an Ulster Championship match is really not good mental preparation. And now the cabin man is down injured. The referee Damian Campbell has gone in to check with his uh, linesman. That was a terrible penalty. And Paul O'Dowd, well, not to take anything away from him, but anybody would have saved that. 18 minutes gone in the second half. That's going to be a throw ball. Up between Ronan Carolyn and Jared McGurk. And it's Michael Sloy who's playing his heart out for Monaghan. One point between the sides. The ball hopped on for Stephen McGinnity. Jerry Sheridan, the captain, is there. But McGinnity, oh, he's a lovely player, this fella. Gets in, inside. And Declan Smith was a bit slow to respond in this lazy sort of a style. Look at that. A cool head. An old head on young shoulders, I think, is the cliche. Michael Sloy. This is Porrig McShane. Battling hard. The referee has blown his whistle. And given the fray. And for descent, there's an extra few metres. And down off the ball, in front of the goal mouth, there's a Cavan and a Monaghan player down, both of them. And the umpire has now gone in to have a word with them. This is all while you're being seen the action replay. And the referee is now calling a side... The cabin players, Philip Smith, he wants to have a word, I think, with Philip Smith. He's consulting with his umpire, and still down is Ray McCarran. And Ray, <laughs> you could just see the eye. Where is the ref, I wonder, says Ray. I think he's making the most of it, young Ray McCarran. Philip Smith being booked by the referee, and Philip Smith is gone. Back to Crosser Lock, says referee Damian Campbell. So Philip Smith is gone for a challenge off the ball on Ray McCarran. Linesmen are now consulting with the referee in the middle of the pitch. Noel Marin is being booked by the referee for another off the ball incident. Bernard Morris is the cabin player there. And he's sending him off. Now. Yeah, I think he's sending the two of them off. So that's three early showers in Brefney Park. It's 13 against 14 now. Here come Monaghan. Michael Sloe putting it over the bar. The sides are level in Brefney Park. Here come Monaghan once more. Now, can they open it up? This is down towards Vincent Martin. Now playing fullback is Brendan Murray. It's Kieran Brady, rather, for Cavan. He's done well for Vincent. Now he needs a little bit of help. Comes in the form of Brendan Murray. 
This is Stephen McGinnity. Fenton Cahill fouling him. A free for Monaghan. This is the incident again. No question. Jersey being pulled. Free. Dundalk Regional College student Declan Smith. Oh, that's a beautiful curl. Declan Smith has arrived at senior championship level. A goal and two points for the 20-year-old from Carrick Macross. Watch this for a curling ball. They have it in baseball, they have it in Gaelic football now. Monaghan manager Michael McCormick. Did he ever believe that there could be a championship match quite like this? McCarthy from Kings Court. He's going to run out of space. He comes back, sends it right across. Fintan Kyle is underneath it. Can he keep it in? They're standing on their feet here in Breffney Park because nobody wants to leave. This is a championship match they're going to be talking about for a while. And the aggression and the tension continues to filtrate the atmosphere of this team, of this battle of Breffney Park. A very difficult angle, but a most important kick. Two points between the sides. He hits it well, but not well enough. Kept in. All the men go down. The Cavan jersey saying that was behind the line. Jared McGurk has it, and he's given the free out to the referee. It was Jared McGurk took it straight off the ground, in fact. And that should have been a free in at the very minimum but the referee or the umpire the umpire should have seen that Fintan Cahill gets away from Brendan Murray has he got the support still Fintan Cahill decided to go through Brendan Murray which is not advisable but he still has the ball sending in a shot which goes over the bar two points between the sides and Fintan Cahill's third point of the match He tried to go through Brendan Murray, but decided to go around him the second time, and this time it paid dividends. And Michael McCormack, Monaghan's manager, looking now for a place in the next round. Monaghan need a point just to make sure. Stephen McGinnity trying to get it through. He just got a touch to it. Comes back to Michael Slowey. And Slowey puts it over the bar. A valuable point which gives them a three-point breathing space. So now Cavan have to get a goal. A minute and a half left as Michael Slowey puts this over the bar, giving them a three-point cushion. Cleared down the field, but there's nobody there from County Cavan. David King giving it to Frank McEnany, and that's another free. As Declan Smith. Oh, he's lovely kicker of the ball, this young fella. A lovely strike, which just seems to curl at precisely the right moment. And that surely now ensures that Kevin go through to the next round. And they've done it. In enemy territory, Monaghan have come and conquered in an absorbing contest. A match that ended up with 13 against 14. But Monaghan go through on that scoreline of three goals and ten points to Cavan's one goal and 12. Yeah, so Monaghan proving once again that they have no fears about going to Breffney Park and taking on Cavan in their own backyard. So that means that they now go on to the second round of the championship where they'll be down or Derry on June the 19th. Just uh, incidental column, obviously, you were watching the game in Auckland today. But Monaghan have a very young team and uh, came through a very tough test there, obviously, in Breffney Park. Yes, I think uh, Cavan were quite confident of winning that match and progressing a bit further this year. And I think they thought they had their preparation going reasonably well. But Monaghan seemed to have a few very talented young players, particularly in the forward line there. And uh, I suppose they have a, a, a tough end of it now because they're going to be coming up against Derry or Down in the next game. So if they're able to beat one of those, then they have a really good side. Sure. 
it's not surprising, Colm, that an awful lot of the phone call comments into the programme tonight was about the fouls, the sending offs, the freeze and the bookings and so forth at Breffney Park this afternoon. I think just to sum it up, if Chris Eubank had been there this afternoon, he definitely would have lost his world uh, title. It was a very messy game. It seemed to be, even just looking at the highlights of it, there was a lot of, a lot of very, very dangerous tackling going on in it. And I think that there was a couple of other players who were quite fortunate not to be sent off as well. Mm -hmm. Our callers, now we're not going to name uh, the people that they're pointing the finger at, but our callers have pointed to one or two of the players in the match and uh, said that they should have been sent off in actual fact, point out that they are noted as dirty players uh, for quite some time. Now, video evidence is now being accepted by the GEA for maybe looking back again at a match and imposing suspension, so there might be a few fellas worried tonight, do you think? Well, certainly there'll be at least one uh, Monaghan forward very worried over, from what I saw on the television anyway, uh, a fairly vicious tackle in the first half and uh, if the GA are going to use video evidence for the big matches then they have to use it for every game and everybody has to be the same. Mm -hmm. Well as we said uh, we'll see what develops out of that in the week ahead. Alright then on that point let's take a check on the main GA results of the day.